It's Madden NFL 22, and today's clash of conferences is just moments away. It's Washington and Buffalo, and it comes your way next. From the home of the Bills since 1973, we are at Bills Stadium just south of downtown Buffalo, New York. The folks in Buffalo love their Bills, and a moment ago they entered to the delight of this sold-out crowd. They're set for football as their Bills will do battle with the Washington football team. Welcome again, everybody, with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and yes, the rain is falling now, and it is supposed to continue to fall throughout this game. So how do you think that will impact this contest? Well, first and foremost, both quarterbacks are going to make sure the officials have those dry footballs coming in each and every play and standing over them sometimes with a towel before the center gets up there to snap it. Second thing is the focus of all the guys who handle the football. Do they wear gloves? Do they take them off? Will they carry the ball high and tight to make sure they have good ball security? That's paramount in a game like this. into the summer. Hope you're enjoying it wherever you are as we are off and running on EA Sports. Isaiah McKenzie now on the return. Oh, a good looking return set up here. Running room at the 50. Look out. He's past the 30. He will score. see if this rain affects the team's decisions going forward, but they kick it here and it's good. So how about that for an intriguing start? The opening kickoff of the ball game, return for a touchdown. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. The Washington offense ready to take over, and you see Taylor Heineke at the helm in his second season with the football team. What I enjoyed this week is that you asked to talk to his offensive center before the game and find out a little bit more about him and what the relationship is, and that was a pretty positive story, wasn't it? Yeah, and really what I took away from that is just how it has permeated throughout the entire offensive line, the relationship they've had. It's really a group that's in sync. They care about him. That's the thing. They really care, and when you care that much, you're going to play that much harder for him and give a better chance to lead the team to wins. On first and 10, Heineke. 
Pressure gets there on Heineke, and down he goes. Gregory Russo, the rookie from Miami. Now Heineke. He'll look downfield for Humphreys, and this is dropped. Oh, tails out of bounds, close to midfield, and they'll say actually right at midfield. So here come the Bills for their first goal on offense, led by their Pro Bowl quarterback. Now in his fourth season, it's Josh Allen. How about 54 touchdown passes in two full seasons at the University of Wyoming? Coming out of a junior college, I think he exceeded expectations. And he can move it around a little bit, too. A much better athlete than people give him credit for. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. Now the first carry for Devin Singletary. And not a lot of daylight. Not really any daylight inside as he's going to be stopped right at the line. Of... Now Allen. He'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he'll only get this to about the 44 as they stop him short of the line to gain. He did his best. to the win, they added Ryan Fitzpatrick for stability at the quarterback position. Antonio Gibson makes a big leap at running back. I think he's a thousand yard rusher if he stays healthy. I love Jerry McLaurin out wide, and they added Curtis Samuels, who played with him at Ohio State. I like what they've done there. There, those guys be able to run from their assignments and finish off that play. Slings this deep for McLaurin. And this is drawn. So the shotgun snap to Allen. Flushed out right, and he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Decent gain on the scramble to six, but now it's fourth. So this Heineke now. And he will not be able to hang on to the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong to a second and ten. Now Allen. That's caught by his tight end, Dawson Knox. Nine yards, and that leaves him just... On play action, Allen. And he finds his man, that's Sweeney. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Instead of a third and one run, they go... And again, it's Allen. And he'll get this underneath to Singletary. And he'll go down here. Right. On the handoff, it's Singletary. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone. To him, and some of those runs that aren't working now, they turn into six, seven, eight, and maybe more later on. Eluding the pressure right. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. They'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second. On the counter, this is Singletary. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. Four yards on the play, and that leads to the first and goal. Point after. And it's good to make it 14-0. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it ends in a Buffalo touchdown. From the shotgun, it's Heineke. Slings this deep from McLaurin. And this is in. Allen now looks to throw. Looking for Sanders, and it's intercepted. William Jackson with a pick. And he will bring this one back. It is a pick six for a Washington touchdown. It's on now to add the extra point. And that one makes it 14 to seven. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then here's Allen to throw it. Dancing to his left. 
And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of down. Play action. Now it's Allen. Going deep for Diggs. And this is caught right along. Throwing now is Allen. Finding Knox there, complete. And they've got it inside the 10 at the Come 8. Let's go. The Bills passing game getting... To throw, it's Allen. And this is going to be incomplete. Strong coverage by Washington. And now fourth down. The kick by Bass is good. And they will move up by 10 now, 17 to 7. So that one on target, and it adds to this first half lead. And maybe we're too early to worry too much about one score lead, two score lead, etc. But this is where you kind of start banging. On third down, Heineke. And that. This is a draw play. Allen gives to Singletary. It'll be a gain of five, but still about three yards shy of the first down marker, and now it's third down. From the gun, it's Allen. Oh, Allen cannot get away, and down he goes. Chase Young. Gibson here running out of the gun. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. That'll be a pickup of 10 as they try to recover. He justified their decision. On first and 10, Heineke. That's complete. Terry McLaurin with it. And taking it across midfield and inside the... Looking to throw, Heineke. Thomas has got it, complete. They find some open field here. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. Good yardage after the catch. Is that play good? Come up on first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Touchdown, Washington. Terry McLaurin from 13 yards out. And Washington able to make this a close game again. And this is up and good to make it a 17-14 game. That time, a six-play drive. And the result, a touchdown for Washington. And the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 23. Singletary to get the drive started. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. And the catch made. This is Emmanuel Sanders. And he'll go Let's out go. near mid. Ship you off to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman will have first half highlights and analysis from a back and forth first half that we've seen. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Decent gain on the scramble of six, but now. Allen will look to throw for it on fourth. And that's complete to Sanders. And he's taken down inside the 30. The conversion is successful. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. It's complete to Diggs. Now Allen. Escaping the pressure right. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. That'll go as a pick of it. To the air, Allen. This is caught. Touchdown. Josh Allen with a touchdown pass to the veteran Emmanuel Sanders. And the Bills will add on to their lead. All drives that result in points. Heard a defense. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. So a nice drive put together there. They go 75 yards in nine plays. And it culminates in a Bills touchdown.
broadcast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. Now it's Patterson. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. The Washington offense ready to go to begin the third quarter. And right out of the gate, they face what you think could be a pretty important drive. I would say so. You know, they're down two scores. That's not the end of the world. It wasn't the strongest of first halves, but for them to start clawing back, they've got to start putting a little pressure on that defense, start cutting into this deficit. You can't have three and outs and expect to get that done. Second half starts with a run by Gibson. He's going to be dropped following. Heineke now. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. Let's go. And he's going to have the... Heineke to throw it. A throw to the flat here for McKissick. Call it a gain of five. That is simply, if you get it to him in space, more times than not, he's going to get more yardage than you expect out of each play. Now a dump off here complete. And he's dropped just before the line as they come up on third down. They'll run with Gibson. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. The drive's down in three. A handoff for Gibson. Six yards to pick up. It's a first down. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent. Throwing. Heineke. He'll go underneath with this one to McKissick. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. The Washington passing game dialed. They'll go again with Gibson. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. Antonio Gibson taking it in from four yards out. And Washington has made this a extra point. It's up and good, and this now becomes a 24-21 ball game. So that one, a 13-play drive in total. Allen and the Bills with work to do on third and long. Allen now looks to throw. Going deep for Diggs. And that's caught inside the 35. And all the way home for the Bills to the I think it's fair to say there's nothing that gets a crowd to its feet quite like a big play. And that was something special there. Boy, was he moving. Well, in this league where coordinators worry so much about drawing up the right routes, blocking assignments, misdirections and stuff, they have these precise arrows and movements. Sometimes the best plays just come from the schoolyard where you look at your fastest guy and say, go long, go get it, big man. Here's Bass now for the extra point. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it ends in a Buffalo touchdown. Are from ideal conditions to play in, but neither offense has had much trouble. Plenty of points to go around. First and 10. Heineke on first down. This to McLaurin out on the left side. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. That'll wind up. A first down throw for Heineke. Pressure gets there on Heineke, and down he goes. Vernon Butler gets in front of him. No room to find to get upfield. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Oh, it out and turned it into a big play, which might have turned into a big loss. Kai just took his medicine there and took the one yard. The throw over the middle, taken in. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. A play fake to Singletary, and now it's Allen. Isaiah McKenzie hauling it in. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before. Isaiah! 
Here's Allen. And that is incomplete. Now Heineke. Pressure gets there on Heineke, and down he goes. And Oliver. Throwing now is Allen. He's got the connection to Cole Beasley. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. To the air, Allen. He completes it to the tight end, Knox. And he is going to have a Bills first down. They needed three. He doubled that. He got six. Now Allen. He hits Beasley right side. And they're going to have another first down here. This game on ice. This is first and goal. Moss. And he takes it in across the chalk for a Bills touchdown. Zach Moss. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown. Run. Second and ten. Heineke to throw it. He completes this one to Terry McLaurin. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. And that's exactly what they did there. On first and ten, Heineke. Flushed out right. Finds a seam inside the 40. And down to the 28-yard line. 23 yards on the tuck and run. From the 22, Heineke. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills' 12-yard line. A nice... Seven yards on the pickup there, and now they've got it first and goal. And this is just a little touch pass. It's Gibson. And he is into the end zone for a Washington touchdown. Antonio Gibson, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And Washington able to close. And the lead is trimmed down to 10. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it was polished off by a Washington touchdown. And now get this one back. And the Bills are going to recover. And that's why you have your hand seam out there on the field. Those are the best guys ready to make that play. And let's face it. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. Eluding the pressure right. 20! And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard. Four downs on first down. They did that, plus three. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Josh Allen. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. See the sideline really get into the game? So defensively, you're thinking to yourself, how do we take that away from them? How do we get the advantage back? Let's see what they come up with. I think pressure is always the first way to go. <laughs> you love pressure. <laughs> I love it. We'll see if they dial it up this drive. Down you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Got McKissick. Uh, he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. Heineke again. And that's complete. It's Sims. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Looking to throw again on second down. Heineke throwing the out route incomplete. It's Thomas. And they'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing through the air. You're looking for those chunk plays, those big ones downfield. Instead, as you noted, 
Takes the check down, dumps it off, gains good yardage anyway. Really well executed. And he is out of bounds, getting it down. They'll go. It's Gibson. And he's got the first. Here's Heineke. Looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. Touchdown, Washington. Terry McLaurin with his second. Tennis. No matter how you whack it at him, it comes back at you. In this case, he just envelops it and brings it in. Footing always a concern, but the extra points up and good. And the lead is trimmed down to 10. So time definitely not in their favor. Down two scores, but they'll try the onside kick. And this is going to be recovered by the Bills, and that should all but do it. To start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. Allen down to a knee, and that should just about do it. Well, they certainly didn't appear to be fired up about their options throwing the football. So, to me, this seems like a case of just kind of taking their medicine there, run the ball, see if they could pick up something. Instead, they were throwing for a loss. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone.